Grigory Sverdlin has seen this story before. The Russian activist lives in exile in the Georgian capital, Tbilisi, where over the past month he's watched thousands of Georgians protest against a draft law on foreign agents. Critics dub the bill the Russian law and say it copies legislation Russia wields to target critics of President Vladimir Putin. Sverdlin himself was branded a foreign agent by the Russian government last September. He runs a non-profit from Georgia advising Russian men on how to avoid the draft after Putin ordered a partial mobilization of 300,000 reservists to fight in Ukraine. My fellow agents who remain in Russia face very big difficulties because these people face administrative proceedings and criminal cases. It is almost impossible to live in Russia now, being declared a foreign agent. This means the people are forced to leave the country they are forced to stop their professional activity. The Georgian government says the law would ensure transparency in the foreign financing of non-profit organisations. If it passes, charities receiving at least 20% of their funding from abroad will have to register with the government as foreign agents and submit onerous financial reports. The Kremlin has denied any association with the bill. Sverdlin says if Georgia passes it, there could be an exodus of the bright young people who have spearheaded the recent protests. No, yeah. I do hope and wish the people of Georgia protect their independence and their dignity. Because it is absolutely obvious that this act will be used to further strengthen authoritarian rule by closing down media outlets and NGOs forcing young and not-so-young activists who do not agree with the actions of the authorities to leave the country. This is totally unacceptable. Sverdlin ran a homeless charity in Moscow before leaving for Georgia in April 2022, shortly after Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine. He set up his current non-profit, Edite Lesom, which roughly translates as Get Lost, that September.